Clear? What's up guys and welcome back to another airplane flying video. At this point in my flight training, I'm about two, two and a half weeks in. Uh, it's going really well, it's going pretty fast, which I'm, I'm really happy about. And um, But I thought it'd be fun to go back and show you guys my first two flight lessons. So before we jump into those, God, my bag's under my eyes. So um, I actually did all my ground school online before I ever showed up to um, training with my CFI. This is actually a great way to save money. It's also awesome because if you pay for the online ground school, you can go back to it at any point in your flight training and re-reference things. Um, I went with Sporties. There's a couple of different options online that you can go with, um, but I like Sporties. I knew some people that used it and I am um, really happy with that purchase. Another nice thing about the Sporties ground school is that at the end of it, you take two practice written exams. Ri written practice exams? Practice written. In any case, you take two exams. Once you pass them, you get a certificate and a logbook uh, endorsement. And if you have ForeFlight, which I do, um, they actually send the endorsement right to your digital logbook and boom, you're good to go. You can use that when you go to the testing center to take your actual FAA written exam. So I think the ground school cost me 250 bucks and that's what, five hours with a CFI, less than that on the ground. So um, definitely much cheaper to do your ground school online than to pay your CFI to sit down and teach you uh, aerodynamics. <laughs> So lesson one, what did we go over? So my very first flight lesson, we actually did short field takeoff and landing. We did soft field takeoff and landing. We did a landing on a grass strip. Um, these are all airports that I fly my paramotor out of anyway. So I was familiar with the airports, but never flew on an airplane into there. Um, and then a bunch of traffic pattern work. So it was a extremely valuable, I don't know, two, two hour flight session. Um, we covered so much stuff and I did really well on all of them, my flight instructor told me. So and we even got to do some high speed low passes down, um, down the runway at uh, one of the grass strips near me. So a ton of fun. Ohio traffic, that's a 17048 on final for low pass down the runway zero four zero. Copy, he's in. Pitch is set. And I'm the third. This is fucking awesome. I like it. Full throttle. All right, let's pitch up. Get away from those trees. Holly Hill traffic system 17048 on the go off runway 4, Holly Hill. That's fun. <laughs> Rip it down there. So that was pretty awesome. That was our high speed low pass down the uh, runway at Holly Hill. That's the grass strip we're flying out of. And you actually do that for two reasons. One, it's fun and more practically, you fly down the runway and make sure there's no wildlife or deer or anything like that uh, on the runway so it clears the runway for you when you come into land. So we landed out there pretty uneventful and then we started practicing our soft field takeoffs. All right, so we'll check that everything's set up right, your trim, checklist. Okay. Windows gotta come in. Okay, and uh... Our beats in, flaps are out, full max power as we hold brakes. And then, okay. uh, so we'll um, yoke fully back. The plane will lift off when it's ready to, and you'll um, nose over into ground effect. Okay. Uh, BX, the VY. Roger that. Okay. okay. Full back. All right, full back, full power as we hold brakes and wait for it to come up. There it is. Okay, all right, release. And steer with your feet. And just watch, you can see that it's sloped up a little bit. Okay. Got pitch forward. Okay, we got a pitch for VX here. Yes. So there it is. Okay. Once you're clear of the tree line, be what pitch for VY? We're clear of it. Oh, you mean past it or above it? Above it. Yeah, we're above it, so VY is 65 now. I could actually hear this phone horn on that takeoff. Yeah, I heard it. That was cool. 
So that was a ton of fun too, because we were probably in the top, I don't know, 10, 15% of max gross on that plane, high density altitude for the area we're in. And um, that was about as much as I could ask out of that plane. It's a little Cessna 150 and it did great off that grass strip. So um, awesome to do that first time with my instructor. So the remainder of this day, we just flew around. We went to a few different local airports, did some traffic pattern work, landings to full stop, touch and goes, um, things like that. Just practicing the takeoff and landings. Um, and that was the end of the first lesson. So awesome first lesson. Um, got, like I said, so much done. And I just, I, I was ecstatic and hooked. All right, so on to lesson two. The goal of lesson two was maneuvers. So we did steep turns, um, slow flight, uh, power on stalls, power off stalls, and pattern work. And again, lesson two went amazing. My first two steep turns were perfect. I have them logged on floor flight. I'll show you guys right here. I was actually really nervous about the steep turns. I thought I'd have trouble uh, managing my altitude uh, and my heading, but turns out that it wasn't that hard and I, I did pretty well, so I was pretty happy. So, uh, so go ahead and roll, then go ahead and roll in to 45 left. And as you do it, you'll give it a bump, uh, just a tiny bump of power and two spins of nose up trim. One, two, yep. And hold it right about there. We want to make sure we're not losing altitude. You can also look at the angle of the nose to the horizon. Okay, roll in a little more. That's not quite there. We should be feeling it in the seat of our pants. Right like that. You'll have to, probably have to give it a little bit of back pressure. You roll out 30 degrees. Whoa, there, gyro is going nuts. Okay. Yep, and then the opposite. Yep. Really good. Hey, we didn't lose any altitude. No, that was that was good. Okay, go ahead and give me 45 right. This should require more right rudder. Yep, right about there. Kid, don't forget the uh, turns of the trim. A little more, we're not quite at the right angle yet. There, there, yep, and give it a little bit of back pressure like that. Good. Don't roll out, oh, yeah, yeah, you're on. Nice. Like right on the altitude, right back at the visual reference. Oh, Good job. That feels fucking cool, man. It will, yeah, it wow. should. If you're doing it right, it should. Yeah. All right, guys, so we finished up the steep turns, did a couple more to the left, a couple more to the right, and then we went on to our slow flight and our power on and power off stalls. So the idea of doing slow flight is to learn how the airplane reacts um, in slow flight. So when the airspeed is low, your controls are a little mushier and it simulates when you're coming in for landing. So when you have full flaps, low airspeed, um, and on approach for landing. So the next thing we do is transition directly into power off stalls. So. So this just simulates stalling the aircraft while you are in slow flight. So when you're on final approach for landing, let's say. All right. And uh, bring the last notch of flaps in. First time traffic, I have five, two, two, okay. two, 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 on final runway one, one. All right, and uh, full power to idle as you nose forward. Yep, watch about keeping the wings level ball centered. Okay, and gradually pull the, pull back. All right, get the left aileron so we get the wings level. Yep. Hold it right there, hold it there. There it is, hold, 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 hold. All right, full power. Bring the nose up to the horizon, car beat in. Uh, yep, car beat in. And first notch flaps out. Good. Okay, get a positive rate here and here. Good. Good. Okay. All right. How do you feel? Uh, good. Um, it broke a little more that time. Yeah, I felt I felt a little bit of uh, less than one G there. That was nice. All right, guys. Well, that pretty much sums up uh, my first two flight lessons. Um, since then, we've been flying a lot more, obviously, and it's been a lot of the same stuff. So practicing those maneuvers and getting ready for my stage check, which is actually was going to be today, but it's scheduled for tomorrow. So uh, I think I'm ready for that. Can't wait to do it. I think after that, we'll be hopefully looking at 
my first solo, so I gotta talk to my instructor about that, but I'm ready to go if he's ready, so I can't wait. And I'll do my best to document that, so make sure you guys stick around for that video. Uh, we'll be getting some paramotor flying here in near future as well, and I'm gonna leave that one here, guys. So don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all that jazz, you know the deal. Thanks for watching, peace. Superville Airport, automated weather observation, two, one, three, seven, Zulu. Wind variable at four knots. Peak gusts one zero knots. Visibility niner. Sky condition few at four thousand four hundred. Temperature three two Celsius. Dew point two three Celsius. Altimeter three 